Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a quick look at footnotes and endnotes. So I've got a document on the screen here that I'm going to use to show you how to use footnotes and endnotes. Now they live on the References tab in this area that's actually called Footnotes. So you've got Insert Footnote, Insert Endnote, and then you can navigate through them using these options either the footnote or the endnote. You've also got a down arrow there to go into the options for this, which gives you different options, as you can see, which is all grayed out at the moment because there's nothing there. So I'll just cancel that. And let's see how this works. So Microsoft Office user, let's put one there. So I'll just go insert footnote. And it comes up straight away with an area at the bottom of the screen, the page, where you can put your footnote. And then if you go back up, you get a little one symbol and it gives you the footnote information, a little comment symbol there. Footnote. Now, an endnote is exactly the same, except it goes at the end of the document. So if I go insert endnote, you get the same sort of symbol at the end and you can put that in there not office 2020 for example now once you've got footnotes and then notes in your document you can use them as cross reference uh, points if you want so you can basically find the um, there's the end note there so you can obviously um, link to this. If I go and sit myself down here, say for example, and I want to do a cross reference to the footnote, to the footnote there, not the actual footnote itself. So where am I there? So you can go cross reference and then there's a footnote and it's just got the number there option. If I click insert there, you get that cross reference inserted as a hyperlink close so when I hover over that one I get I'm holding my control key down I get the little hand and it goes to where it is in the document and you can see it there now because we've got a footnote and an endnote you now can use this area so next endnote Previous end note, next end note, previous footnote, next footnote. So at the moment, let's do another end note, let's do a few. Uh, so insert end note, Office 365. Now the problem I'm doing here, I'm doing it all in the same place, so I need to change where I'm doing it, so I'll just click there, do another, another end note, Office 2016, and then I'll do a footnote somewhere else, footnote 2010. So now if I go to the top of this document and start there, so I've got next footnote stops on the footnote I've got an end note there as well look that little eye is the end note um, next footnote let's jump to the next one previous end note that's just jumped up so we've got it there three office 16 previous end note here we go so Previous end note is taking me to where it is in the on the document. Now cross references is now going to have multiple options. Now you can obviously see how small these end note symbols are. They're quite hard to see. There's two on the same spot there, but um, you can actually put a reference there, see, and then do the cross reference to it. But if I go cross reference. 
So now you've got these two foot notes, and if I change that to an end note, you've got these three end notes. So from there, I can go to that end note, insert, close, and then I could say C, that one, and then you do your control, you click, it just takes you to where it is. And then you can hover over it and it tells you what it is. So it's not actually taking you to where it is at the end of the document. Now if I go into the, um, if I click on show notes, there's a footnote and there's that. If I click into this, what you've got now, this is now not greyed out. So footnotes, bottom of page, below text. Now, depends where you want to have that. Below, now that's all I want to talk about on this little session. How to use footnotes and endnotes. Nothing too spectacular there. Just simply insert wherever you want it to be. And then it will reference it at the bottom of the page. Or the bottom of the document. And then you can create hyperlinks to it via cross-referencing if you so wish. So hopefully that was of use to you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.